Hello everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am sharing with you a Goodwill premium blue box. That's one of the $50 curated boxes that they send 12 to 15 pieces of jewelry that's supposed to be wearable, not broken or like a craft lot. And I've got over here, it always happens, right? There's, I can feel it. There's like a hair on my face and I can't see it. And now the clock's watch is going to go off over there. Why not? Like I can still see it. Oh, it never fails. Anyway, <laughs> shall we wait or do I go on? I'll just go on. Uh, a few weeks back, I sent in, oh gosh, it's going to go on. There it goes. Okay. On Black Friday, I ordered two premium boxes and i also ordered two pandora boxes the two pandora boxes came in but rather than sending the two premium boxes which cost 50 dollars 49.99 they sent two of their repurposed boxes which are five pounds of like mixed craft wearable sellable it's just like a mix of everything maybe and so i'd never gotten the premiums premium boxes before so i was a bit confused like i expected something different maybe i'm just technically supposed to put I, anyway I wrote them and they quickly made it right I sent back the wrong boxes they sent me the right boxes and I opened one the other day and found some really cool stuff I peeked in this one when I was making the thumbnail because I was like I have to have it open for the thumbnail because who wants to just see me holding a box uh whatever but then when I did I was like ooh, something looks like gold on top Ooh. So we'll see what we see. I'm excited. Uh, hello, I, and I am live. So if you're ever wanting to catch me live, then make sure you go over there and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified. I know some of our friends have said that they have the bell notification pushed, but I think there's a way to, to adjust it where it, because sometimes it says, there's a way to say, get all notifications or get highlights or something like that. Anyway, um, also you could join uh, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers or, Tex or follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. Usually I'll post before, but I forgot to. So if you're in the group, go share that I'm alive because I forgot to do it. I try to share before I go live too. I thought my necklace is flipped around. Hi everybody in the chat. Hello, hello. Hi Yaziris for first and Susan is there. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, everybody. Oh, Kristen says, looking fabulous. Thank you, darling. I'm wearing a sweater dress today because it got chilly. Yes. And I had to venture out to the chiropractor. So <laughs> otherwise, there was no reason to get out of my stretchy Target jersey dress that I wear around the house sometimes. Oh, but now, Ben and Mom, thank you. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, I'm saying hi in the chat. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I'm so glad you're here too, Vintage uh, vintage Bridgie. Yay. All right, here we go. So this is the box. It is a box. So let's open her up and see what we've got. Uh, first baggie. I'm trying to get stuff in the way. <laughs> Should I clean my desk off first? There we go. First baggie, we've got what looks like maybe some silver and gold or gold plate or gold gold or I don't know let's find out all right I'm pouring it out into my hand there are two necklaces here again we're looking for 12 to 15 pieces and since I'm a reseller I'm trying to make sure I make my $50 back so first piece looks like this it so far is gold in color looks like little rubies and maybe a diamond little pinkies pinky rubies maybe lab created who wants to guess do you think it's real gold or plated or silver with gold over top all right so first check we're going to take the magnet see if it's magnetic not that part's not that part's not okay we're going in with the loop we're going in with a loop. This is one I did not peek at, so I have no idea. <laughs> Every now and then I peek, to be honest. I see China, which unfortunately is not a great sign. I see 925. So looks like probably, oh, and then on the chain, we've got a little tag. So let's see what's on the little tag on the chain too. 
Oh, congratulations. And mom got COVID vaccinated today. I'm hoping when we get back to Houston, my mom can get hers done too. This is 95 Italy on the on the this little tag. And then it's got this funky little cursive R, which I just saw on another piece recently. And I need to look it up because I saw it on a piece yesterday. I was doing an unboxing work recording. So chances are just like a little lab created rubies. I can test it with my Presidium gem tester, but that's pretty cute. I think that's something that could sell. Still, you know, it's very pretty. Somebody would definitely like that. Um, for sure. Okay. So that's their first piece. So I don't know exactly how much I would charge for it, but I would guess at least 30 or more dollars. So that's a good move in the right direction for sure. All right. Then the other necklace that was in was this one. And it's a cross with these really pretty blingy crystals. And... Sharon, are you asking me? My eBay store is not open right now. I have my my eBay and my Etsy. I had them open briefly. I'll talk about that in one second. Um, hang on, let's finish looking at this one. I'll tell you about why. Wow. So, okay, pretty, probably silver. Let's get the magnet. Oh, that is magnetic. But I, I have actually, now I can, I, forever I would say, I've never found a piece of silver that was magnetic. But now I can say I have. So <laughs> it's not as, I don't find it very often. But I can honestly say now I have. This is FAS, which is few, 925 FAS and few, I always get it wrong. Fused alloy silver, is that's what FAS stands for, right? FAS, yeah. Y'all correct me. Because somebody always, no, it's this, Margaret. I'm like, oh, shoot, that's right. I'm pretty sure that's what that means, though. So maybe it's something with silver over it. That says 95 Italy on the chain. Let's see if the chain's magnetic. Because it may be just the... Oh, the chain's magnetic as well. So probably what I'll do, because it is stamped 925, let's say I sent this to, to Brandy, right, <laughs> in the chat. And she's like, I know my silver. And if she, if she bought a sterling silver cross and chain for me and got it and it was magnetic she might raise an eyebrow sorry i'm picking on brandy <laughs> but so i what i need to do is to test it with my sterling testing kit and then i can say you know it's mark 925 yes it's magnetic try to give the buyer as much information as possible i tested it it tested out not silver or tested out and it was silver and even maybe snap a picture of the the acid test showing that it was silver. So that would probably be my route on this one, but it's gorgeous. So I think somebody who loves a nice, pretty blingy cross, you know, would would like that. I mean, that would be a really nice, like christening present for a young lady or a fella, if he liked bling, a young person or any person. Anyway, so, or a confirmation present. Okay question about my my stores. I, I haven't been sharing much about my COVID journey on this channel anymore because I made a promise I wouldn't. <laughs> Why? Why do I do these things? I don't know. But I've been updating on my My Mate Margaret channel. The last one was. And I did a video talking about the, the post-COVID symptoms that I've been experiencing, including, but not limited to, anxiety and depression. So, and pa like panic attacks. So I... It's gotten better now, <laughs> but up until like not long ago, a few when I say like a week ago, um, I was having some really severe depression and anxiety and like stuff that was, and I could feel like I, it was not normal. Like if you've ever gone through anything like that, like I've been down that road before, so you can feel like this is not normal for me, you know, or I would end up thinking things like get upset with about stuff that just didn't, I would not normally get upset about. Like I don't normally snap at my kids or I found myself day after like probably three or four days in a row, like snapping at my kids. And like, then of course, profusely apologizing. I know this is not jewelry related, but this is why I have closed, I closed my eBay and Etsy store for a little bit. Cause I just felt like I got to get a control of myself. I got to get myself 
squared away. I can't add more pressure and anxiety and stress to an already stressed system. I'm a boss so, baby that can ah. like a man. I can shake a man. Then. But that's the groceries. Yep. Um, so that's why I had my store open briefly and then I closed it uh, again because a sale came through and I just, I didn't freak out, but I was just like, I can't, I can't have a deadline right now. It was, that's just the way it was. All right. Everybody goes through crazy times. I don't say crazy times, but you know, when you know things are not, you know, things aren't normal for you. And so anyway, I talked way more about it in a video I did on my My Mate Margaret channel because I was in the thick of it and it was awful. It was awful. Um, I guess my last like major breakdown <laughs> was on Friday. Friday? Maybe it was Friday. No, I can't remember. Probably. Um, but thank goodness my mom was here. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to be normal. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I think I feel fortunate that I recognized it because I know there are some people that maybe don't have a history of anxiety or depression or things like that. And maybe, or maybe do and haven't figured it out. I don't know. Um, but I felt really fortunate that. I had the ability to like nip it in the bud and like, I don't have to go to a nine to five job or so I could really focus on taking the time to like, I'm, I really, <laughs> I don't talk about it too, too much, but I went through a really, really bad patch a number of years ago before I had kids and I never wanted to go down that road again. Cause it was awful. And so now whenever I feel like warning signs or little red flags popping up for me, then, um, <laughs> then that's, yeah. Anyway, I see the numbers dropping. People are like, I didn't come here to listen to this. I came to see jewelry. Okay, let's move. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> anyway, it's just the way it is. So, all right. Next up are these sweet little earrings. Take a peek. Oh, thanks, y'all. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's way better now, but I'm keeping an eye on it, you know? So here are these sweet little earrings. I love them. They're these simple little pearl and they're little drop earrings. That's a, there might be catch and release because I like them. So I think they're really sweet and feminine. And darling, I just love them. So there's those. Let's see how we're doing with the... Okay, they're not magnetic. Oh, thanks for asking about my mom, Heather. She's doing okay. You know, she got, uh, she had an attack of Bell's palsy <laughs> on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I promise we're not here to be have downer. Um, she's, you know, she's taking the medicine and we'll just see what happens. I right, just pile it on. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if we talk about it some and try to, you know, shed some light on it, it can't, you can't stay in the darkness, you know, if people are shining light on it. And, and there's, there's nothing that depression Whatever, call it what you will, depression, anxiety, whatever. There's nothing more demons. There's nothing that it wants more than to get you alone and make you feel like you're the only person in the world experiencing it and just eat you, eat, eat away at your whatever. Um, so call it what you will. It, it's bad. And it wants you to be alone and feel like you're all alone going through this. And it's not true. It's just not true. <laughs> okay. So. This is a really sweet necklace that was in the baggie with these earrings. They kind of match like so. I don't think initially they went together, but this is on that wire. And then there are these pearl and gold tone beads that, yeah, so that's kind of sweet. I think someone would like that. All right, so far I think we're doing okay. I never guesstimated a price on the cross. 30-ish dollars or so, maybe? Yeah. All right. Let's see. I Yeah, thanks, guys. And I know some people don't like it. But I, you know, tis, tis the nature of my channel. I think it's better. Better to share it and let people know they're not alone. You know? Let people know. You don't have to. It's not alone. You're not alone. It, the best of us go through it. And the worst of us, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is this another little heart um, pendant. That's another little sweet one with some stones in it. I would have to get my tester out to, oh, it's caught on my ring. 
And then this necklace, I'm fumbling with it. And there we go. It's got a little tag. Let's see. What do we think again? 925 or gold? Gold. This one is marked uh, 925 Milor. Is, is it Milor? What'd you have for dinner? Have you had dinner yet? I had tamales. I tell you that because I just tasted them again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tamales. And then the heart. I'm trying to read what it says on the little thing. Oh, uh, yeah, you can get through it. You'll get there. Um, It looks like it says CW. But I'm looking to see if I see any 925s or any other marks here as well. Pardon. There's no way to fast forward this part. Well, I guess if you're watching after the fact. I don't see any other 925s or marks or things like that. So let's see. Magnet? Yes. Hmm. So probably the chain, you know, is silver with like a gold plate over it. <laughs> You're shoving a burrito in your face. Yum. Um, honest to goodness, this is not my style of jewelry. I know some people get it. Gosh, I'm going to try to sell it. Um, oh, yeah. So like when I do this, I'll probably list it and say something like for kids or children, for grandkids. So like if someone's trying to get a Mother's Day or a grandmother present and it's got four little diamonds, like, oh, those are my four little darlings, you know, they're angels, right? Oh, okay. Um. Charm, Timeless Charm by Kate says, my husband had Bell's palsy. It was scary. Only lasted two weeks. Me too. I'm going back to Houston with her. So hopefully we can keep an eye on things till my dad gets home. He's all hunting. He's all hunting at my sister's house right now. Hoping to, hoping to catch her a deer. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it must be Mexican. You had enchiladas. Yeah, we had tamales. <laughs> all right. Okay, good. Sh Cherie says her dad had Bell's palsy lasted about a week. I'm really hoping because she, my mom's doing pretty well with it. She's she's definitely got a positive attitude. So there we go. Uh, all right. So next, look at this sweet little flower. What kind of flower would you say that is? Hmm, like a daisy, like a gold daisy, perhaps. But it's got a lot of pet. I guess some daisies. What's the other one? Yeah, like a little daisy. All right, so, and then it's on this little ball chain, but it's not one of those ball chains that you slip into the notch. It's got a regular lobster clasp. Hmm, this is so cute. Like a dandelion, like a Gerber daisy. Yeah, it's not like a regular daisy. It's like a special daisy. Dandelion, right? After it, after it stops being all poofy or before it's poofy. I guess it depends on where you catch it in the cycle. This is marked 925 Italy. That's so sweet though. I just love it. I love it. I mean, that's a really nice little pendant. All right, what does it say on the, I'm gonna look at the little tag on y'all. <laughs> ah, I'm laughing in the chat. If you're not here live, you gotta come watch live and hang out in the chat. Italy 925. So that's a sweet one. Okay, this one is really cute. Maybe like a sunflower. Okay, yeah. Some sunflowers do have a little or a little or eye or like a black eyed Susan. Wait, no. Yeah, maybe. Or that does it have more of a conical top? Conical? Conical. I don't know. So yes, this is a premium box. Okay. Could be maybe a chrysanthemum. Okay, so I'll have to make sure to get a bunch of flowers in there whenever I list this one. Awesome. Oh, I see some, uh, some friends in the chat that do my um, subscription boxes. If you do a video, let's just remind me, if you do a video of your subscription box, let me know if you unbox it because I have a playlist going so that you can, we, we can um, share it and I'll share it out for you. I'll share it out. All right. Mm. What do you think? If you're into sounds. So this is like, 
probably a pink rose quartz. It's cold to the touch, really pretty. It's got a vintage style clasp that I always forget the name of that hooks around and through. And then it's got this pendant, which immediately I realize is broken because there's a, it's scratching me right there. It looks like it was an eagle, but right here, it looks like maybe there was a, the feet. Maybe you we're coming off, but it's not. It's broken and it's all rough right there. So what would you do? Hmm. I guess what I could do, I can't even remove it because I would have to cut it to remove it. Thoughts? I know they're not really supposed to send broken stuff with the premium box. Do I be a squeaky wheel? Do I be a squeaky wheel? Let's dissect that sentence or not um, and let them know they sent me a broken piece or just like suck it up and figure it out. Because truly, I can't sell it broken like that. So, I mean, it's awfully sharp. It could probably cut somebody. Could I sand it down maybe? That's an option because it's not super obvious. I wonder what it would take to sand it down. I could get a nail file and just work at it and see. Right? Because it's still pretty. Maybe somebody didn't like the talons. Or maybe the original piece had like talons that was holding a gerbil or something. And the person was like, that's just really morbid. I don't want to wear that. I'm going to break that gerbil off. Oops, I broke the feet off too. Um, so yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to try filing that. Yeah. I can't, Why not send it? This is true. But then they're going to start wondering if I'm honest or something. I don't know. Because I already complained that I didn't get the right thing. <laughs> oh, Brandy, thanks for reminding me. I was, was it you or somebody else? Maybe it was you. Maybe it was somebody else that asked about that because I need to set up just a separate one for Canadian friends so I can add in the shipping. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> Send it back. Okay. Then next is this necklace, which is very sparkly, gold colored. All, it's like woven, as you can see. Lucky for us, it's lead free. And Natasha. So I guess this could be like one of these, like do like so. <laughs> and you can like do a mini pearl with your tag if you want. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't look right. Uh, I don't know about this. No. Yeah, I think they're glass. They're cold. Can I, now can I get it off? <laughs> How about a, as a, a head a headdress? Can we wear it just like as a crown? Maybe that's better. Now it really is like mini pearl. There. If you don't know who mini pearl is, whatever. <laughs> I'm not old. All right. So I could yeah, total New Year's Eve necklace. I'm gonna celebrate with my kids and my mom. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, truly. Mm. Would you sell it? I mean, I guess I could sell it. <laughs> I would have to think about how to describe it and who would buy it. Okay, I'll think about that one. Uh, it does. It looks like a halo from a, a Christmas pageant. Oh, you're in love with the gold sparkly rope. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Yeah, okay. There, yeah, anyway, <laughs> there's a buyer for everything, you know? I mean, this is the good thing is that not everybody has the same taste in jewelry or clothes or anything, which is amazing, especially for us resellers. I should definitely sell it. Okay. Crocheted lead-free crystals. Okay. Yeah. See, this is why the group is helpful in the chat. Thank you. All right. Next up, what do we have? One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four, so far eight pieces. I think I've made my money back. And next we've got a ring. Looks like so. It's very heavy and thick. My alarm's going off on my watch. Okay. It is, yeah, it's large. Cause he's large. Can't think of the rest of the words of that song. 
Thinner than the rest. Anyone name that song? Because he's large. Okay, well, send me an, an email, Murphy, about that because I can sell it to you. I You get bonus points and extra stars tonight if you can tell me what song I was singing. All right, so let's see. Mandrel, Mandrel, who's got the Mandrel? <laughs> if you got the Mandrel, then you are it. This ring is a size six. Nobody, <laughs> yeah, it's from Popeye. That's right, it's olive oil. <laughs> She's singing about Bluto because he's large. <laughs> All right, and the stone in this is plastic, I do believe. I'm trying to feel of it. It's hard to feel it without the rest, but I think it's plastic. Or no, it's not. Okay. Hmm. All right, there are no maker's marks inside, but it's cute. Yeah. Yeah, it could be for men or for women. True. This is a very unisex type of ring. Some dude could wear it on his panky, like so, right? All right, next. <laughs> Y'all, this one is gorgeous, darling. So, look. Ooh, this ginormous, like, peridot-colored stone. It's fantastic. Look at it. You could do some serious damage with that. Wow, it's putting my other one almost to... There. <laughs> My dueling rings, right? <laughs> Ooh. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I go through phases where I wear big rings and then I go through phases where I don't, clearly, or else it wouldn't be a phase. Duh. It is Mark925. Hello. <laughs> King, or the red one. Yeah, King Henry the Eighth, right? Okay, this one is Mark 925. This is another case of magnetism that we would have to definitely test it out. Look at that, though. It's beautiful. Oh, yay. Oh, thank you so much. I spy something shiny. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I could totally hurt someone. Mm. I'll mess you up. I'll put the... Bling and bling. No, that doesn't, that's not tough enough. I put the bull in bling. There we go. I put the bull in bling. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. That's my fight song. <laughs> All right, we forgot to mandrel it. Mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you got the mandrel, then you are it. You are a size probably six and a quarter. There we go. Oh, best guess on, oh, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, for this one, even though it's not marked and or anything, I probably will price it around 30 bucks. And this is a guess. I have to do research. And on this one, probably closer to 45 or more. I have to test it, but I don't think it won't even matter. I, th I think it, I doubt it's going to end up really being silver. Just a hunch. But if it is, it'd be even more. So. But I like it. Mm-hmm. I need to make a shirt. I make I put the bull in bling. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got this one. <laughs> this little blue stone. My my ring light's super bright, so I'm trying to get it where you can get the you can get a seat, get a look at the ring there. So it's got this little blue stone. But I always have to go and look. I always get mixed up with blue stones in the, the shading of aquamarine and, oh, what's the other one? There's a couple that are more common than others. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, Susan, I appreciate it. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm glad you don't think I'm too weird. I know sometimes I even said that and I was I recorded the video for when I go to Houston and I know I won't be able to record. So I've been recording some and I went off on like this random weirdo tangent. Uh, it's about pee. Not what you think though. <laughs> and then I started like, oh geez, Margaret, you really really gone too far with this one. I and that's why I like I'm gonna put Henrietta over here. And that way it's like, I'm not talking to myself. It's Henrietta, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. <sighs> All right. 
Blue Topaz, that's the other one. Thanks for getting me back on track, y'all. <laughs> oh, hello from Trophy Club, Texas. Hello, hello. Okay, focus, focus. Uh, it, does a, it does have a 925 inside. Let's see how we do with the magnet. It's, oh, it's slightly magnetic. So I think I'm gonna have to just have like a, a testing party with these, with these things. I have some things from another box that I wanted to test as well. So I'll have a little testing party for the 925s that's magnetic and maybe for the stones that are fantabulous and to figure out if it is, you know, is it blue topaz or is it something else? What do you think about my TARDIS blue nails? I switched. Now I have TARDIS blue, only it's a little more sparkly than the TARDIS. I have to have TARDIS, TARDIS blue anyway. Um, please stay off track. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Next. Oh, let me get a sip. Hmm. I've heard that about the Bell's palsy. So next up, we've got delightful. I spy with my little eye something that starts with a T. It's tiger's eye. All right, so we've got this really pretty tiger's eye, only that's not tiger's eye. You, oh boy, oh gosh, that color one, is that? This is where I always get mixed up. Is this one Jasper? The, the orangey one like that. Tiger's eye, tiger's eye, tiger's eye. This one, I, oh, some kind of agate maybe? I see. Some of the stones are just too much for me. I can't remember them all. I'll need help with those. And I, there's no shame in asking for help. So, oh dear. Let me see if I need to holler at my kids. No, nope, we're good. Okay. But this is really pretty. So yeah, so we've got Jasper, Tiger's Eye, and Mystery, which I will find out what it is so that I can list it. Uh, appropriately. Then we have a toggle clasp to go with. There we go. Very pretty. I like that. I like the little, these are almost like little worry stones. So you could just sit and like worry on it. You know, look at that one. Isn't that pretty? That's not tiger's eye. What are you? Hang on. That isn't tiger's eye. What do you make of that one, y'all? That one's got layers. Look, the edge is like tiger's eye. You and I are gonna have a talk in a second. Okay, we're gonna figure you out. That's got a different layer. Okay, okay, I'll geek out over that in a minute. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> you know what, I think I have to agree because you know, I plus two on top of that, I was watching, do y'all have Netflix? I was watching today, Dolly's, um, what's it called? This is me, Dolly Parton's like documentary. And she just was like, I know I'm weird. Get over it. <laughs> I'm going to go with it, you know? And now we all love her. Who doesn't love Dolly? I'm watching the chat. No, <laughs> but it was, I mean, it was really good. I thought, oh, okay. I like Dolly. I'll watch it. But it ended up being really, really good. Okay. So here we go, friends forever, fine silver plate. It looks like an infinity sign maybe with a bling on it. Friends forever, what does it say? Friends forever, friends forever, okay. But apparently one friend is better than the other because one friend got a bling and the other one didn't. So, you know. <laughs> yep. Some animals are more equal than others. Here's an, okay, here's a literary. What book is that from? Some animals are more equal than others. My grandmother used to teach a class on this author. She was an English professor, P.S. Um, oh, it looks like tiger's iron, tiger iron. I'm gonna have to look that up, Vanessa. Thank you. Yes, Dolly's a queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Catherine wins. Yep. <laughs> Animal Farm. My grandmother taught a class on George Orwell. She also did a lot with Chaucer. Fun times. All right. 
All right. So some friends are more equal than others, apparently, on this. <laughs> you guys did it. Yay. Little farm. Oh, I shared a meme today. You would probably appreciate it. It was a, a Loki from Thor, you know, or Loki from Thor. There was in a movie with Loki. <laughs> and it said, I like my men. Wait, I like my books like I like my men. Uh, well read and bound in leather. <laughs> I'll have to share it over on my Texas Gal Treasures uh, Facebook. Anyway, <laughs> I, I thought it was cute. And it had Loki. All right. <laughs> right. No pressure in that family. I tell you what, I would take my, whenever I was writing papers, uh, when I was in university, I would take my paper first to my mom. She's a librarian. And I would have her go through and put all her edits. And I'd go make the changes. And then I'd take it to my grandmother and say, okay, now you look at it. And she'd go through and like tear it up back and forth until I was like, oh, all right, but hey, that's how you do it. That's how I did it anyway. So <laughs> friends until the stones fall out, right? There you go. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. So that's pretty. Let's count our pieces. We got one, two, three, four. What was your favorite? Five, six, seven, that's eight and nine, ten with the little daisy, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And I'm supposed to get twelve to fifteen. Sweet! Uh, hematite's. The gray bit in Tiger's Iron. Is that right? I'm going to have to go look at that closer. Sorry, y'all. I'm figure, figuring out this, this short stone. That one? That's the one you're talking about, right? The Tiger Iron? Because, like, along the edges, it looks like Tiger's Eye. But then it's got, like, this not Tiger's Eye look. Okay, okay. I'll go look at that. So, what was your favorite? <clears throat> Mine? I had three favorites. <clears throat> The daisy was your favorite, Vixie Stick says. The bling knockout ring. So the daisy. So this one. Come on now, I ask you. The gold sparkly rope necklace was your fave, yeah? I think the one that I'm going to keep out of the bunch is are these little earrings. We'll see how that. They may be catch and release. So we'll see how that goes for me. All right. But I think for sure I'll be able to make my 50 bucks back. I think this little sweet daisy, I'm guessing I'll probably, we'll see if I see much like it, but I think it's so adorable. I could probably get 40 bucks at least for it. Yeah. Yours was the blue ring. Isn't it sweet? It's so cute. Oh, okay. Fun times, you guys. This package I'm really bad about that because here's what I do. I take them out of the big box because I don't want to carry the giant box upstairs. So I take them all out of the big box and then I stack them in my room. So I don't know. I should write it next. I'll start sharpening it on the sides. Whenever I say, I'll look at the outside of the box. You like the green ring? It's a big one, right? All right, bling. All right, you guys, I will, let me think. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so I've got balloons to blow up. I'm going to do like a little balloon drop thing for the kiddos. I got a kit from the store, and it had like all the balloons and like a thing you can hang them on the ceiling. So I'm going to do a balloon drop with the kids and my mom. Anyway, so I hope you all have a good New Year's Eve and stay safe. And 2020 is like coming up. So blue skies, right? We can sing it out. How about this? Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on a happy face. This was a Goodwill blue box. This was the premium uh, blue box. All of the gray skies are going to clear up. All right, you guys, go down there and leave a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on Texas Gal Treasures, on Facebook, wherever, Instagram, wherever you hang out. Uh, and all my links are down below if you're interested. And I don't know, maybe I'll be back tomorrow. We'll see how our day looks. But I'm trying to record a bunch of stuff for when I go to Houston. So I'll see you soon. Maybe I'll try to do something on New Year's Day. Wouldn't that be fun? All right. Have a great one. Bye, everybody.